Can You Be a Vegan and Build Elite Strength? This man has. Meet Patrick Baboumian. This Berlin strongman holds the world record for the most weight ever carried by a human being. We met him to find out why he became a vegan. Stuff that can, on a short run, improve your performance kills you on the long run. Patrick put me through a yoke carry workout and also introduced me to an entire community of vegan lifters in Berlin. I'm Alex Roberts and welcome to Plant Power. Okay, nice meeting you. How's things? Good. Can you talk to me about the yoke lift and kind of like, to most people it just looks like something heavy that's being carried. Yeah. So like what muscles are being used and why is it such an integral lift to your training? Yeah, so I, so I think the, the, the yoke work is actually probably the most natural thing you can do for strength actually. So just basically go, go down the implement, take it on your shoulders, try to stabilize it with your hands. So you hold it with your hands and uh, because it's going to swing. So you've got to stabilize it a little bit. Um, and then you just basically walk with it. You want to give it a try? Let's give it a go. And we're taking it for about 10 meters, yeah? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's not too bad. Have you done it before? Never. Okay, but you're doing pretty well. Uh, I've, I've seen much worse. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that, I'll take that. Um, okay. So how, in terms of like veganism, yeah. What got you started and involved? I made the decision to go vegan in 2011. Um, and back then again, uh, there was no strong man who was yeah. vegan and, and also no like no power lifter or there was power lifters, there was weight lifters, but none of them were on the same uh, level that I was. So I thought, well, if nobody's doing it, it's probably impossible. But then I won the title of Germany's strongest man, which gave me a lot of media coverage. Um, and I was slowly starting to realize that via the media I was influencing a lot of other people. So that was where, uh, where I made the decision to, to go vegan and give it a try. As a vegetarian I was still having a lot of issues like iron deficiency um, and I didn't realize back then that iron I had chronic iron deficiency. I would even supplement iron and it wouldn't help. I would still be deficient because I was having huge amounts of dairy every day. And I didn't realize it back then as a vegetarian. I thought, well, dairy is the greatest thing for me. I was having tons of it. Um, and then when I went vegan, all these issues went away. So my iron deficiency was gone. Um, I had problems focusing back then. That was gone. If you look at you know, the, the life expectancy of a bodybuilder or a strongman, you see so many guys, sadly, you know, like dying in their 20s and in their 30s. Uh, and, 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 and a huge part of it is nutrition. And it's not only the PEDs, it's also the way they eat. It's also the way they um, basically don't care about their health. They're like all about the performance. And a lot of stuff that can, on a short run, improve your performance kills you on the long run. And they unfortunately don't get it. Should we add some more weight to this? Okay, let's uh, go for another pair of 20s, yeah. No, it's not like that. This way. Ah. Here we go. Keep going. Keep going. Go, 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 go. So yeah, that's it. See? Beautiful. That felt much better. Yeah. That was good. Um, from what I've learned, you train in a gym uh, called Berlin Strength, yeah. where there is a community of sort of vegan weightlifters. Yeah, so the, the gym is actually uh, basically founded by, by a vegan strongman, uh, Joni Pulmonen. And then there's a huge community of vegans that uh, just basically, um, you know, started training there because they knew it's a vegan gym, so I can, you know, have all the protein and everything, everything's going to be vegan. And then also a lot of the non-vegans in the gym also turned vegans. How much of a difference does Berlin Strength's community make to you? Well, um, it's great to have a gym like Berlin Strength. I just go once a week to Berlin Strength to just basically meet my friends. You should, you should check it out. Uh, it's, it's awesome if you want to train and have fun and you know just basically meet a lot of like-minded people. That they have great community of weightlifters there, and it's much more hardcore. I just you know go and do my thing, and um, I don't have to be you know um, you know it's not a problem if I have to get loud because I'm almost dying doing the squat. <laughs> So Patrick, um, I've really enjoyed the session today. First time I've ever tried the yoke carry. Probably something I, I'm going to integrate into my conditioning a lot more. And don't forget, if you have the chance, 
definitely make sure that you go and uh, visit Berlin Strength. 100%. You sold me on that idea already. Good stuff. Patrick, cheers, man. Appreciate cheers, it. Cheers, man. How am I feeling? I'm feeling like I need to do more yoke lifting. Patrick's doing me strongest man. Uh, he can lift 555 kilos on the yoke. I managed to lift double my body weight. We tipped out at about 170 kilos. I'm really happy with that. Patrick also mentioned that he's part of a community of vegan weightlifters at Berlin Strength in Germany. That intrigued me and it left me thinking that I really need to go and get my ass out of Germany. So there's only one thing for it really and it's hop on a plane and get myself to Berlin Strength. Hi. Hello Saskia. Hello. Thanks for having us. How nice are you? Nice to meet you. You okay? I'm okay. Berlin Strength. Yeah. So what motivates the idea of combining veganism and strength training in one setting like this? I think the motivation is just to have a nice training space for us. I mean, we're vegans, we're loving strength sports, and so we run a vegan gym. This is, this is it. The heavier the weight, the uglier my face. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so at the moment, he's got 220 kilos on the bar. Got four 25 kilo plates on it either end. And the Olympic bar, of course, weighs 20 kilos. That's an insane amount of weight. My best lift is my deadlift. In the competition, I have the German record in Masters 1 in the 105 class with 305 kilos. 205 kilo deadlift. Yeah. That's epic, right? Okay. So the man who holds Germany's deadlift record is a vegan. I mean, are you going to tell him to stop eating plants and eat more meat? I'm not going to. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. So um, talk us through some of the training that you're going to be doing today. Um, today I'm going to do a variation of squat, power squat, and then we will go benching. What sort of um, records do you hold in your, in your uh, lifts at the German Championships? Um, and this year on the regional championship I have done uh, 100 and two and a half kilo in squat, um, 70 kilo in benching and uh, 122.5 in deadlift. This place is awesome. I came from a um, little town in the south of Berlin and there are no weekends. <laughs> well, you'll probably rip into my technique, but yeah. This place is incredible. Some of Germany's strongest people training here, some of Europe's strongest people training here, and they've got, all got one thing in common. They can lift serious weight, and they're all vegan. I can see you also openly welcome animals into the yeah, gym as well. doggies mostly. <laughs> Sometimes we have a very big doggy gang in here, but they get along nicely, so they can hang out here if they want. The this big well. wall um, thing reminds me always of, um, of Yoni, the owner. His mental game is what inspires me. And sometimes when I lack motivation, I just think, get shit done and like put some fucking life into it. So how long have you had the gym, uh, Yoni? Ah, it's about five, six years now. When we set it up, it was kind of natural for us to open the gym as vegan. But then it wasn't for vegans, right? So when we opened it, and it's the only, only strength-focused uh, gym in the area, we got people coming from, from all over here. And then the vegans started to trickle in as well. And now we have quite a high percentage of vegan. And what would your advice be for someone who wants to gain muscle mass and strength yeah. on a plant-based diet? First of all, don't overcomplicate it. It's mainly about good balanced diet, enough calories, and then you can start fine-tuning it a little bit. How does your body respond um, to plants as opposed to the meat that you would take in bodybuilding? Um, yeah, the biggest uh, difference was uh, 
losing body weight, not muscle, body weight, fat, and and it was uh, some months of what's going on here, and and then adapt, meat or not meat or stuff like that. It's it's me. I'm plant-based human. My max is about 115. Um, but this guy's max is today he's going to be doing about 150 kilos, which is insane. That gives you uh, a measure of uh, how strong you can be as a vegan athlete. It's a challenge, vegan or not. You know, it's not easy. The top level sports is, is brutal, you know. I think, I think the challenge of being vegan. It's tiny, you know, when they are interviewing these guys, they're like making such a big deal out of this vegan thing, even though that whole lifestyle is so demanding. <laughs>